Kelly here, here to teach you another math lesson. Today's lesson is ordering numbers, or ordering decimals, from least to greatest and greatest to least. I know we're all not that too familiar with these, because it's the first time, especially special, first episode on decimals. The very first thing you should do, as soon as you look at a decimal, is to tell if it's a negative or a positive decimal. Yes, Charlene. Oh, Grandpa Nally, how do you know if a number's negative? Oh, certainly, Charlene. Very easy. You know that a number is negative by this subtraction sign, this minus sign next to the number. Any other questions, Charlene? No, thank you very much. Okay. Harold and Jason, stop talking. Okay. When you order a decimal from least to greatest, no matter how big the negative decimal is, it's going to be in one of the last places. Just like negative 526 point... Oh, nine. Okay. So now, as you see here, there are two negative decimals and two positive decimals. So now we're ordering from greatest to least. Obviously, 22.36 is the biggest decimal because it's a positive number, not a negative. There's no negative sign, and you don't need to put a positive sign, because there's no point. Alright, so I'm about to label it right here, so we don't get confused, that this right here is number one. See, down here in the old west, we don't have good handwriting, but it's okay. I accept us. <laughs> yeah. So now, our only positive decimal left is 5.29. Mm -hmm. So now, since that's 5.29, the only positive decimal left, it's going to be number 2. <laughs> right there. Okay, so now, the decimal that is closest, the negative decimal that is closest to zero is the bigger one because it's closer to being positive. So here we have 0 0.1, negative 0 0.1, and 526.09. Now Jason, which one do you think is bigger? Oh, I think, oh Grandpa Nella, I think it's negative 0 0.1. Oh, Jason, never learn. Ooh. Okay. So now, Jason just answered negative 0 0.1 to be the biggest decimal. And he is correct. So now we're going to label it number three. And now there is only one left, and it's the least. Negative 526.09. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now I'm just going to label it 4 right there. And now, the order is... First up, 22.36. Number 2, 5.29. Number 3, 0 0.1. And number 4... 526.09. Oh, yeah. Okay, now, this can relate to real life when you learn to be organized with your everyday activities. For example, when you wake up in the morning, first thing you do is brush your teeth, take a shower, get dressed for school, and have breakfast. Now, you might find that a little bit confusing. But all of those are put in order. And that's why it relates to this math method. Now all you kids take care now. I have 
date with Super Mario. Mm -hmm. See you next time.